to pack boxes for a move. There's an art to packing boxes without breaking your good china or breaking your back. You will need sturdy boxes, duct tape, bubble wrap and a permanent marker. Optional, newspaper and ink-free packing paper. Step 1. Buy new boxes from a moving supply store. Discarded produce boxes may be cheaper, but they'll make your possessions smell like produce. Step 2. Reinforce the bottoms and corners of your boxes with good duct tape. Step 3. Using bubble wrap, cover the insides of any box that will contain fragile items. Once the box is packed, fill the remaining space with bubble wrap or wadded up newspaper. Pack no more than 50 pounds per box. Place heavier items at the bottom of boxes and distribute them among the cartons to lighten each load. Step 4. Pack china by stacking it, alternating plates and layers of newspaper. Cover the final stack entirely in bubble wrap. Consider investing in ink-free packing paper. Yes, old newspaper is cheaper, but you'll pay in the long run when you're scrubbing newsprint off everything. Step 5. Wrap delicate cups, glasses, stemware and other fragile pieces individually in bubble wrap. Place stemware upright in cartons, never lay it flat. Step 6. Place hardcover books on your side, alternating bindings, and save paperbacks to fill in nooks and crannies in other cartons. Only pack boxes with hardcover books halfway, or their weight may rip the box. Step 7. Label each box with what it contains. If you're moving to a new residence, write the destination room on the side of each box, like master bedroom or foyer or kitchen. Step 8. Wrap breakables individually in generous portions of bubble wrap. If something is extremely fragile, pack it separately. Step 9. Seal boxes and reinforce with duct tape. Better to take extra precaution now than to have gone to all this trouble and dump everything before you arrive. Did you know? It takes an average of four to five hours to pack personal belongings when moving out of a dorm, according to the University of Maryland Department of Resident Life.